Hello everyone, this is Kalya. Today I'll be going to show you like how to install the Derby database in your Ubuntu. So for that, just open the browser and go for search box. Type Apache space mirrors because this will be the database from Apache and go for the first link. Go for any one of the link here also. The search tool one is this one. And look for DB. Control F DB. And you have an option called that B here. And which other version you want to choose it, you can choose it. And different extensions you have it. And if you want to download the binary tar file miss, you can download this. Just need few more seconds. Okay, let's done. Let's open the file and copy this file to our home hard work directory. And after copy the tarball to your directory, I click on the tarball, extract here. So now this will be the path of your Derby home. So we need to update this path of the Derby home inside the dot bash RC file. Let's open the terminal further. Now the command is g edit space tilde slash dot bash RC. Now add the two lines here export derby underscore home equal to home hard work inside that your derby home. Let's take the path of the derby home. And similarly export path equal to dollar derby underscore home slash bin colon dollar path so once we done these two lines in the dot bash as if I save it and close this one and close the terminal <coughs> let's reopen it again now the command to start the derby is start network server hyphen h 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot ampersand before that let's practice let's give the command is jps currently nothing is running except gps then the other command is start start network server hyphen h 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 ampersand so once we give this command just enter now it is saying like the started in the ready to accept the correction ports. So let's enter say JPS. So network server controller start. This is the derby. And similarly, if you want to stop that one, is same but on small changes in place of start, use the command is stop. This will be going to stop the your derby also. So this is the approach first installing the derby latest version and uh, how to start and how to stop it also so there is uh, some issues with the older version of the derby for that you need to change the security policies actually so currently in this version of the derby this fix is this fix we know to do it already provided by the derby so hope you enjoy we'll continue later